Being in Arts Action has been an incredibly rewarding experience. Hi, I'm Anthony Mancuso. Uh, I'm an artist in action at the Art and History Museums of Maine. The architecture and the grounds are really inspiring. I'm a painter. Um, my preferred medium is oil paint. People often ask me what my work's about or, or what kind of artist I am, and I always say I'm a painter uh, because as a painter, I'm interested in investigation of feeling, investigation of material, uh, and investigation, again, between where like thought and feeling kind of meet, one ends and one's be one begins. Whereas when I consider an artist, which I do consider myself an artist, but when I think artist, I think of a conduit to an idea where the material will meet the concept or the idea, right? To best communicate. Whereas I want to communicate all of my feelings, all of my experiences through pain. And again, through that investigation of that material, that color, and the presence of, of my hand, like a record of that experience and, and me working through it. Really like to elevate the mundane through bright colors, uh, and very expressive bulk brushwork. I work primarily on canvas, which I construct myself, um, wooden stretchers and uh, just duck canvas. Painting to me is really responsive. Act. It's, it's meditative in a way that it requires awareness um, and rumination, you know, thought, materiality, um, subject, all these things sort of bouncing around while I'm working. Um, however, I want to remain intuitive and open to the work. I consider it a conversation where I might have an idea or I might have a point of view. I want to remain open and change and allow the work to become something, again, sort of spontaneous or unique. Uh, when working in the studio, I like to work through a lot of ideas pretty quickly. Uh, I make a lot of small scale studies and when certain things stand out to me, I like to scale up. I like to have a direction, especially when I'm going to scale up. So I work through a lot of small scale studies, uh, thinking about color, thinking about composition, ratio, and then when I find something that I respond to, I scale up with more intention. I pull imagery from my daily experiences, moments from my day-to-day -day life. Sometimes it starts you know, with an image, like this is very much about two different people, it's about my this is actually my partner's daughter. Her lamp is on her desk like this. Um, and then I have this mentor who like kind of associate people with colors and he's blue. So this kind of teal color, he paints on post-it notes. So it's kind of, well he draws on post-it notes. So it's kind of a response to that idea. Lately I've been working with the subject or a motif of this lamp um, on a nightstand where the viewer is sort of placed behind the lamp or in an uncomfortably close proximity. I place the viewer in this sort of intimate proximity to emphasize the relationship between the lamp and what's being illuminated on the table. Uh, I haven't really fleshed the idea out completely. Sometimes our ideas can't be communicated clearly or, or the data is sort of distorted because of experience or lack of experience. I've I search for the answers on the canvas. Um, I get an idea and I try not to question it too much. A lot of times I run into more questions. My work will often emphasize the mundane and will often come from memories that I'm trying to sort out. And I have these memories of sitting and looking through the light of a lamp as things sort of float through it. And being in that place behind the lamp and looking out at the room. And I haven't exactly put my finger on it, uh, but it has opened up and created room for new ideas and new discoveries. 
but some themes that I'm working on uh, in historical painting are ideas of illumination, spirituality, um, heavily based in color theory and looming my palette. Consider these very figurative, very iconic in the way I place the lamp in relationship to the object on the table and how the light illuminates that sort of focal point, um, being again that implied action or relationship between, in this case, the pair and this sort of pear shaped lamp as it illuminates or highlights this relationship between the two on the table. Thinking about classical portraiture, um, as I consider these lamps portraits, reflecting again on relationships in my life. One indicator that I call back to historical portraiture is these lush landscapes that you'd often find out of a window of an interior. To kind of almost not make a joke of it, but you know, consider or tip my hat to that thread in, that in, in what made up classical portraiture where you'd have these figures sitting either in an interior or in front of a great estate. Um, and I wanted to make that connection um, in this particular way. Where my work starts formally uh, with color, shape, repetition, and pattern, uh, I believe it transcends formalism in the way where it's, it's made up. This isn't a recording of a real lamp or a real still life. Um, this is something that I created from memories and from imagination to sort of isolate my own voice to make sure that I'm representing the feeling or the emotion tied to this particular image. Uh, this image is really inspired by my relationship with my brother. But this one, however, was inspired by a relationship with a friend of mine um, who moved away. Uh, and I create this gray sort of muted color and try to pull illumination from that, um, as well as motifs from one of their paintings, as well as one of mine. Uh, uh, very geometric in my work and um, very organic. Uh, working with a lot of florals, a lot of daisies, uh, flowers and things like that in their work. So uh, this painting is sort of about our journey in our life as painters together and how much we'll mean and sort of still look to each other for, for answers or even more questions. What's really important to me for, for a studio space is associating um, certain actions or certain routines with a place. So being able to compartmentalize that part of my life, my studio practice, and come here and engage in that routine and engage in that ritual of creating art uh, among a community of like-minded people who are all in support of the same thing, which is, um, you know, refining our skills, bettering our ideas, uh, pushing ourselves and our practice. It's incredibly fulfilling 